Hello and welcome to my Coach Elder channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this new rucksack that I picked up from Go Ruck, and it is the GR2 model, 34 liters. So now if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of Go Ruck rucksacks. I own quite a few, they all have their individual purposes. And recently I decided to add the GR2 specifically the 34 liter to my collection because I was looking for a rucksack that I could travel with, use as my carry-on bag, but at the same time still have something credible to utilize out in the field uh, because when I am traveling, I still try to get out there and hike and ruck and try to use rucking to not only learn about the place that I'm visiting, but also get a relatively good workout while I'm at it. I had recently picked up the GR0 for my last trip to Europe and it was excellent fit perfectly under the airplane seat in front of me, which is what I was looking for, so that I could have access to all the little extra things that I need, uh, whether it's my iPad, whether it's chargers, whether it's my headphones, and any other incidentals. Uh, flights are long, they're boring, they're tedious at times. So having access to those little extra comforts is a big deal, at least to me. So the GR0 is ideal for that use case that I needed. But one thing that I did notice is I was, as I was hopping around between different Airbnbs and sightseeing, is that I had my carry-on and the standard carry-on with wheels, which works pretty well when you're actually inside the airport. But now as I'm uh, walking around cobblestone streets and pavements and all sorts of other terrain, the issue that I had is utilizing that carry-on while I was going from location to location was very inconvenient. It wasn't good for the carry-on, I kind of uh, destroyed the wheels and then once that happened it really became a uh, pain in the ass as far as carting this suitcase around. Now I'm always used to having a pack on, I have a pretty active lifestyle, enjoy being outdoors and one thing I kept saying is man you know I have the GR0 on me carrying stuff that I needed, let's say, for the plane and a few other extra, but I didn't have enough space in the GR0, let's say, to use as a carry-on, which would have been ideal for this past trip that I was on, and of course, keeping in mind future trips that I have coming up. So I looked around the GORUT website, saw the specs on the GR2, and specifically the 34 liter, which worked well for me. There's a couple other sizes also for the GR2. And the one thing about the GR2 is the first Go Ruck that I picked up about 16 years ago is also a GR2. And I was reading about a couple updates that were in there. And to be honest with you, my GR2 has been through all sorts of scenarios. So it's pretty beat up. So when I'm on these trips, especially with my wife, I don't wanna have a rucksack or a backpack or pretty much any piece of equipment that's extremely beat up and I end up looking like a hobo out there while I'm on vacation. Doesn't look good in pictures that I take with my wife. And at the same time, there's a purpose for everything. So now I could actually have a GR2 that I'm using that's more for travel purposes. But of course, when I'm out there, I could still hit the field with it and do all the activities that I enjoy doing. But I could also keep it, let's say, cleaner and nicer for, uh, let's say, the picture ops with my wife and represent myself in a much cleaner fashion. So let's get into some of the specs on this GR2 34 liter. I opted for the Ranger green color, but there are a few different choices when it comes to color. So going over some of the features and specs on the GR2 that I have here in front of you. Uh, first off, it has a quick access zipper pocket right underneath the top handle, which is ideal when I'm traveling, and even out in the field, perfect place for me to keep my phone. The straps themselves are extra padded, and the top handle is designed to carry heavier loads more comfortably. Features the silent YKK zippers, which are glove friendly, and the pulls on them are constructed from 550 cord. One of the uh, main changes that I saw compared to my original GR2 is the primary material. Now, this GR2 is made with a 1000D Cordura, and the back panel itself is 210D Cordura. And Go Ruck made this change because initially, including my original GR2, the whole rucksack was made of a 1000D Cordura, which is ideal material, except for the fact that it ends up ripping up your gear, your clothing, and many times your back because of that tough abrasive material. Go Ruck felt that it was uh, a big enough issue for them to address 
and they started using the 210D material on the back panel. There is a removable hard plastic frame sheet which stabilizes the laptop compartments and allows you to carry more weight comfortably. There is a laptop compartment which I keep my laptop as well as my smaller iPad. There are two total compartments, the inner compartment with three pockets and an outer compartment with three pockets and a built-in field pocket. So technically four pockets. There are four rows of external and internal Molly webbing, which of course allows you to customize your GR2 however you want, making it much more personalized to your needs. And as usual with the GORUCK rucksacks, it comes with a SCARS lifetime guarantee. The GR2 also comes with a Go Ruck patch. I replaced it for one of my personal patches. And when it comes to the rucking purposes, of course the GR2 is ideal for rucking plates. Fits in there perfectly doesn't really move around giving you a much better experience on your ruck and it also comes with a removable chest strap the one thing that i did notice about this gr2 compared to my other gr2 is that there is not that little velcro opening on the top that allows you to feed your hydration bladder hose through it so that was something that i wish this gr2 had included in its design but once again you could just stick the hose out uh, leave the zipper just slightly opened in order to be able to access your hose it's not a deal breaker just wish that it was still included so bottom line if you are in the market for a rucksack that is second to none built to last ideal as a carry-on for when traveling but still a perfect heavy duty rucksack to operate while you're in the field definitely take a look at the gr2 by go ruck